Hey guys, welcome back. This is part two. Um, it's a sniper gameplay, so I'm going to talk about the snipers really quick. Um, there are three snipers in this game, which I find really, really odd for them to only put three snipers in this game. But, um, you know, I'm not going to complain too much. It is Treyarch. Treyarch isn't really known for giving snipers a lot of love. <laughs> and uh, they sure as hell didn't give them a lot of love this time around. Because there's only three snipers, and I'm gonna say it again, that's really weird. I expected them to be like, you know, five, six snipers, but there's only three. Let's talk a little about them. Uh, the Dragonov, the WA-2000, and the L96A1, which if I'm not mistaken, the L96 is the gold sniper or something like that off of Bad Company 2. They're about the same. I'm not exactly sure, but... Um, L96 is going to be the go-to weapon for quick scopers. It has the most damage. It's bolt action. Um, its accuracy is great. Its accuracy right now, it looks like it's... Yeah, it's better than all the other weapons' accuracies, which is great. Um, the mobility is actually different in Black Ops for the sniper rifles. And this is really where it gets weird. <laughs> Trey Hart really is trying to shove just some bad juju on our good Call of Duty sniper community. Uh, me personally being a sniper, this affects me a lot. And the Dragonov has decreased mobility compared to the WA-2000. And the WA-2000 has more mobility than the L96. So, no more max mobility. I This is really disappointing, guys. I mean... Everyone enjoys the sniper rifles because there's three main things about the snipers and people usually do not think about them. One, they can kill people from a very long distance in one shot. They can kill people from a very short distance in one shot. They can make you move as fast as you can move with the SMG, which is what makes a sniper so good because you can pick somebody off, get the fuck out of there, move, change positions, and then pick another guy off right there. Um, they just change it up on us. Uh, the L96, I don't think I've mentioned this, but it has the most damage, so we're just gonna have to go with it. Just go with the flow. Let's use that thing. Um, it looks really cool. The WA-2000 just... Why? The Dragonov? Why? Why couldn't they just put the Barret back in or something? But, you know, I'm happy to see the Dragonov again. I love that gun in Call of Duty 4 on the PC. I haven't really used it on the console versions, but I love that gun. Um, WA-2000, I... I can't like that gun. That gun has seen no gilly love. I can't stand that gun. It looks like a freaking piece of wood. It's just a depressing looking gun. It's just horrifyingly bad. I don't know. I don't know what you guys think. But uh, we were talking about wager matches, so let's get right back into that. Last time we were talking about wager matches, we ended up talking about the gun game last. So we're going to talk about Sharpshooter. It gives every single person a random gun for a fixed amount of time and each time you get a kill you get a perk I'm assuming that when you die you lose your perk so you don't want to die I mean it's great I guess um, I was gonna talk about this when I talk about kill streaks but I have to reiterate the fact that there are no death streaks in black ops which just makes me really 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 happy really really happy I'm ecstatic I was using copycat anyway because I just cannot cannot stand looking at people getting rewarded for being bad at the game. Seriously, if you are on Painkiller, you are bad, it ruins your clips. If you do record and you try to go for clips, I, I don't I can't take anyone that's on Painkiller like you know at all seriously. It's just it's really, really trashy. I mean it's as trashy as it gets. But you know, I'm really happy it's not in Black Ops. Um, the game modes actually look really fun in Black Ops. Um, it's free-for-all, which will be eight players. But there's a twist. You can now queue up for hardcore free-for-all, which will be great, I guess. Um, I've never really played hardcore free-for-all. I was never really into that kind of stuff. But um, for you guys that enjoy hardcore free-for-all on PC, and have, or for you guys that want to play it on, uh, you know, console and have it available as something that you can get points and levels off of. There you go, you got hardcore free-for-all. Most likely won't be seeing me there. Um, 
I don't really know anyone that's really into the hardcore free for all scene, but uh, we'll see as uh, you know the game count comes out and more information comes out. But um, again, I'm just giving you the information that is available out. If you go to Call of Duty .com, or if you go to COD7BlackOps.com, there's a lot of great websites where you can find the information on Black Ops. I'm just regurgitating it to you with my personality and my gameplay and hoping you guys like it. But free fall. Hardcore, regular, capture the flag, um, demolition, domination, headquarters, sabotage, search and destroy, hardcore search and destroy, team deathmatch, hardcore and bare bones, bare bones being no kill streaks whatsoever. Um, although people were speculating that bare bones would be, oh my God, where's the time? I'll go.